podcast character designs done by Demon Artie. Like fan art, redesigns, original art, then Demon Artie's the artist you're going to want to follow. Be sure to check her out over on Twitter, at Artie Demon. If you like what you see, also consider supporting Demon Artie over on Patreon. For only $3 a month, you get access to Patreon-only community, concept art, voting on new art, bonus sketches, and the all-important fan service. So definitely check her out over on Patreon, because supporting independent art and artists is important. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. Hey, 15 PCA. Nick Tip 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. So a lot of people were upset that the new Nintendo Direct was all Pokemon focused. Mm-hmm. And people were just, that's Nintendo though. The Pokemon is Nintendo. So, yes, so, they, hand in hand. So get over it. They've done know. that in the past too. It's not like it's a surprise, guys. And you know, videos. I remember when games. we first talked about Sword and Shield. And I'm like, you know what? They're gonna add new stuff with DLC. And I, I got so I got some clap back. They're not gonna do DLC. That's so stupid. They already said they weren't gonna do that. They're not gonna add anything. Who's the idiot now? <laughs> Who's the moron now? I, of course they would add. Why would Nintendo not want to make all this money? Maybe someone told me that, and then other people say, guys, we can make about fifty million dollars on this. Yes. We're gonna do it. So they so they added some DLC and uh Natif is our Pokemon master. He's the master trainer here. So what what did you think about the price, the content? Do you think it's worth it? Okay. Um I am a little bit on the fence, just a little bit. I love Pokemon a lot, but the price tag is a little steep. A little bit. Um, the first expansion is $30, the next one's probably going to be the same, $30. Now, that's that's $60, so I'm expecting basically another game. Yeah, for another price. Pokemon's worth of game. Yes, because it said that the expansion was $30, um, and I'm pretty sure, I, I try to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it is a separate, so $30, $30. I don't think you can buy, like, both of them. But from what I saw, it did seem kind of fun. They're adding at least 200 more Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So that's, so adding, expanding the roster to 600. I think right now we're sitting at something almost like 1,000. So basically, it has almost m- m- most of the the Pokemon in it, and the the classics. The classics we saw, uh, a Gigamax uh, uh, Dynamax forms of a lot of Pokemon. We saw some really cool Blastoise and Venusaur. That's so awesome. So they already hinted like, okay, they, they're coming, which makes everyone happy because everyone's like, yes, the starters, the starter three. You got to have the starters from all, all of them. Because why not? Because this is the uh, the kind of like how I feel about Smash Brothers. Just keep adding to this game. Yes. Don't make a new game. Just keep adding to this one. And I feel like it's what Nintendo's going to do for this game for a little bit. Maybe in the next like year or two, then they'll like, okay, here's the new Pokemon Then they'll game. be whatever it's going to yeah. be called. Um, the first one is uh, Armor of I- uh, Isle of Armor. That's pretty. It's stupid and it's kind of cool at the same time. At the same time, because it's like, okay, you're playing off of Sword and Shield, so now it's Armor. <laughs> and so basically that storyline is you become champion. Of course, spoiler alert, if you never played ever in a Pokemon game, you become the champion. You, you go to this new island to train, and you train with uh, the, the old champion's master. That's cool. So then you teach them, you go to this new island, you catch new Pokemon, you're doing all this training. Also, you get a new legendary to train that the master wants you to train specifically. Yeah, so it's like, because you're like, uh, you're like the seasoned vet now, and you can you yeah. can handle it. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool story. New, uh, new outfits, new items you can get, stuff like that. Very cool. I like it. The second expansion has to do more with like uh, playing with everyone online. It's called the, tund- the the Crown of Tundra or Tundra Crown. The Frozen so, Tundra. No. It's, it's yeah. Tahunga. Tahunga. Um, and that one is kind of cool. That one's more explorer-based. You're going to this Arctic uh, part of uh, the Gala region, and you're catching more Pokemon. But yet, you have these cool raids you can do where you can catch the legendary Pokemon. So all the, the classic Pokemon. legendaries. Classic. Zapdos, uh, yes. Moltres. 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 The- uh, you know, Entai and all those guys. Yeah, yes, exactly. All the classics, all the classic legendaries. Um, you can do them raids. There's going to be new classic legendary, or new sign on classic, new legendary Pokemon in this new expansion. Um, you can go into the den raids, which is kind of cool. So, like, because in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they just kind of pop up. Yeah, they just pop, man. Yeah, there's no actual exploring. So, in this one, you can have multiplayer. Have four people come jo- or three people come join you and you explore the caves. That's cool. Yeah, so that's, that's, now it's starting to be like this isn't like destiny. <laughs> like that. Yes. Oh, go on a raid. You have to like do certain but, things. That, yeah. This is more. Yeah. The thing, me personally, since it's like only thirty dollars a piece, that better be like almost like twenty five, thirty hours of gameplay. It's got to be yeah, a lot that, that, for that but, price. But the number of Pokemon they're adding, just you know, just to, because for me, it was always about catching every, catching them all, filling up that Pokedex. Yes. And I, I, that's a big part of Pokemon for me. It's a, it's a, it's a time sinkhole. Yeah. Because once is. I catch everything, okay, now I got to train them all. Yes. I've never really truly completed that task, but I have caught every Pokemon, like in uh, all the way up to like gold and silver. 
Yeah. And after that, I kind of got the ones I liked. Well, it's then, impossible to train everyone to max. Yeah. I, take, I mean, I'm sure yeah. someone has done it because they're insane, but yeah. no one's got That's just hard. So I also read that even if you don't have the DLC, you can still trade in. Yes. That can, was cool. I think yes, you that. can download when the when the expansion packs come out, you can download it. Uh, an update. An basically. update. And you can trade. So even though, like, oh, I have a friend that has it and he wants to trade me Pokemon, they can. So I think that was pretty cool because I hate when games do that and then other players are literally locked out of content. That, that's a big problem with a lot of FPSs where, oh, if you don't have the next expansion, you can't play these maps, can't do these things. But I do like in certain games, we'll do like, oh, if you're in the party with someone who has the, the maps, you can play on the maps with yeah, them. Yeah. So this is kind of like well, that Well, that, that's becoming more of a thing now, like where they don't deny you if someone else has it, yeah. at least on your team. So that's better now. It's not like that. It used to be you, you had to have it. There was no way yeah, to play it. Yeah, you can play with your friends. No. Now, see, these, <laughs> these Nintendo's trying to think about... There's going to be people who aren't going to get the DLC, but maybe their buddy does and they can still trade around. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I kind of like that. You I, see the new uh, gym leaders? Uh, yes, the new gym leaders. Interesting. So both games, you have two separate gym leaders. So for Sword, you get the girl that is going to be the poison gym trainer. And then uh, for if you get the shield, you get the psychic gym trainer. Yeah. And then just like in every Pokemon trainer, it's, oh, waifus. <laughs> yeah, because it's the, the very poison. second they come out, it's fan art. And... I, it's crazy. I mean, if you follow us on Twitter, I reshare uh, all kinds of art. And, and I mean, like, Ness is, like, the thing. Oh, and yeah. there's people draw such beautiful fan arts. It's, like, ridiculous. And just like that, these characters are, what, days old? Days and there's old. thousands of fan arts already. Amazing fan arts. Yeah, we're talking, like, people that, like, wow, it looks like you took, like, a, like two months to make that. Oh, they made it, like, in a weekend. In a weekend. Oh, that, yeah. That's the, that's the fan base, though. It's yeah. so big. Rabid. It's collected, yeah. Yeah, so um, so you got two new gym trailers. They're, they're kind of cool. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks, so I kind of hate the fact that if I have sword, I can't fight uh, the, See, the they psychic. do that. See, they, they're gonna, there needs to be a... Um, not to say like a Pokemon Yellow version, but there needs to be a thing to where like okay now there's the crossover where we can get the other gym leaders. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what I have to do. Do I have to like have both games and I like somehow download like a little thing? Because I would like to battle them. It'd just be fun. Because there's no need not to do that. Because it's not like you're competing with. But they console. want you to buy both versions of the game. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and that's another thing I was kind of I was kind of mad at is that the expansions will have two separate types that you can't catch. So mm-hmm. sword will have some you can catch and then just shield. Of course, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. So I'm like, oh, so you have to trade. And... You have to trade. But I'm like, oh, it's classic Pokemon. Of course, they're gonna do that. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm really excited for it, but I am a little hesitant. I want to know how much content there's got. I need to. Yeah, I need. Um, I need to know from people who play the game and they get the DLCs. He's like, oh, this is only five <laughs> hours of content because technically, Sword and Shield aren't. They're not very long games. No, you can. Because I feel like right now I just beat the game. Um, I did, the only reason it took me 70 hours, because I really trained my Pokemon, like, class, you know, like... Like, old school, yeah, grind. Grind. I, you know, I took them and put them on my PC, so I trained them, like, literally, like, individually. So it took me a while. Um, I almost caught, I got, I think I'm at 300 Pokemon caught from my Pokedex. That's only 100 left. And that's like, wow. And then, then I'm done with that. Then I can, like, do some other things, like, do we challenge gym leaders? Yeah. Do special things after the game. But I'm like, uh, that's only gonna be the it. And then these, the expansion's gotta be bigger. I gotta be doing a lot more stuff. See, I don't want the yeah, like you were saying. If this is a f- seven, eight, nine hour expansion for thirty dollars, uh, it's gotta be twenty, twenty five hours, that's a little what, bit more. And that's what's hoping maybe twenty bucks, because then if they're both 20, 40, 20, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like you do, but you do two for forty. It sounds so much better than two for sixty. Yeah. you know, just like ugh, psychologically, you got yeah. me another another game. Uh, this should be Pokemon Sword and Shield two. Yeah, exactly. Right? And that's what makes it interesting because the yeah. amount of content that was in Black and White two. Was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. And so to think that, you know, that same price, I'm getting a tenth of that, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I'm hoping that there'll be more areas, more areas to explore. Because um, they showed they showed a lot more of the uh, Isle of Armor mm-hmm. than more than the other one, the, the Crown of Are Armor. they coming out at the same time? Uh, no. One's coming out, I believe, in the summer, and the other one's coming out. Oh, that's why. So they want they want to push the one that's coming out sooner. Yeah. So I think, and, and also it's kind of cool, as a free little tidbit, you, you download the update, and they give you a uh, Galarian uh, Slowpoke. To catch. That's, oh yeah, yeah. People are talking about yeah. that. This thing looks like the, the shiny version. It looks like Homer Sims. Yeah, yeah <laughs> he has like a yellow head. Yeah. He does look like Homer. <laughs> and I then, remember seeing memes about that since it happened. And, they showed the comparison. And I love that because then you're gonna have more Gala versions, which I'm like, okay, cool. Give us more of those. I want to see like different yeah. ones. And then you can do different evolutions, I believe, in the game. For yeah, see, they're so. I like it because this is what I wanted. Because there's no reason. Not to be able to add more things, add those other Pokemon, add more gems, add more areas. Because there's no reason to say, 
Oh, oh, look, we got reports. This new island emerged from the ocean. Oh, pff, more Pokemon. Just make some bull crap it, it, up and just go. It doesn't yeah, matter. You it don't have to matter. explain it. Yeah, and, and we just need more battles, more stuff like this. I like the DLC idea just for the fact that, like, oh, cool, now I can just have expansions. Mm -hmm. And hopefully maybe one day it'll be enough to where they have literally all the Pokemon. Like every single Pokemon that's ever been. Well, it's got to be over, what, 2,000? Oh, over over 1,000. There's yeah. a lot. There's yeah. a lot. There's Look, a if lot. you count all the individual unknowns, and that's, like, 26 right there. Yeah, yeah, and that's another thing, too. If you're not counting, like, variants, like, different types, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, you go. It goes pretty deep. But, um... Again, like you said, I, I'm I'm 50-50 on it. Like, I like it, but then I also don't like that price tag. <laughs> yes. Oh, and they also talk about Pokemon Home. It's coming out February. That's interesting, because I want to know if there's going to be a service attached to it. Like, an actual, like, to pay, like, 10, like, like 10 yeah. bucks a year. Because that's going to be fine, because that goes with Pokemon Go, so you can transfer all your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to your games. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. Of, yeah, so I can't wait for that. They're going to have more details on that when <coughs> February rolls around. Well, it's like they're doing better, but yet they can still do other things better. Like, it's getting better. It's getting better. better. Yeah. 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 I, I, you're, you, you, Pokemon, I, I believe all the Pokemon games are good games. Yes. Some are better than others, but I think the, the, the concept is classic. You know, RPG, go around, collect things. But with this game, they took some steps forward. They changed the formula a little bit. But now they have to really refine it. Yes. And these DLCs are helping get that refinement. But I just hate the fact that I'm having to pay $60 for that refinement. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. That's and, a lot. And that's what I'm hoping for. Maybe the next real Pokemon game that comes out in that expansion will have the, all the refinements done. Like, okay, we're going to give you this gem now. This classic that's going to be, bam, the future. But like you're being a paid beta tester. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. That's what it kind of feels like <laughs> a little bit. But um, when this... uh. When this launches and everything, and you get it and everything, we'll have basically more hands on with it. But right now, I just feel just just okay. Yeah, I feel. Like and there's okay. people that are just pissed, and I think, okay, guys, calm down. It's yeah, and I know that you're pissed because they said like, they're well, not used to paying for DLC. Pokemon players, this is the first time they've ever had to do it. Yeah. Welcome to 2020, guys. That's yeah. just how it is now. Yeah. It's but just like, like it forever. But hopefully, Nintendo gives you enough content to be like, okay, I don't, I don't feel jealous. But see, that's a wait and see approach. They're just already hating it. They're yeah. not giving it a chance. Yeah. I'm willing to give Pokemon a chance. I, I owe Pokemon that much. Yeah, exactly. And also, they brought Blastoise. They, okay, they, they, made, up, they made up for it. Okay? Yeah, I already had my Charizard, son. Yeah, I know. That's the dumb <laughs> bull crap. That's all I got Because he was the best, that's why. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.